What's going on? I hope you're okay. Welcome to another video. I feel like I haven't done one for a little while, uh, but here we are. We're going to do one right now. It's going to be fun. It's Sunday, so this one is a style video. I do them every Sunday and other videos in the week. Um, if you're new and you want to subscribe, you can do that. That'd be amazing. That'd be nice to have you. Uh, this video is all about Kanye and the Yeezy Season 4 collection, which he announced last week. I'm always interested to see what he does because he is a character. I always say something that's either controversial or just ridiculous or like genius at the same time. Yeah, he's entertaining. His Twitter rants are like maybe my favorite thing ever, like better than any TV show I've maybe ever seen. So I'm always interested to see what he does. So I thought I'd go back through some of the stuff and then he's just announced the new stuff. So we'd have a little look at that as well. Uh, so I'm going to move over here because better. So yeah, like season one stuff, I've got pretty positive reviews. There was loads of like bomber jackets, oversized like sweatshirts and military style stuff, which I think looks well cool at the minute. Like khaki colors, those are like distressed sort of rib stuff as well. Everyone seems to like that. It was a pretty good first release for him because he hadn't done fashion stuff before, but he'd wanted to for ages. At season two, then it was all these like neutral colors, like nude and kind of flesh tone stuff, which you see everywhere now. Like in Top Man and Zara have literally released the range that's basically exactly it, but you see it everywhere. These oversized like um, nude khaki like jumpers, like crew neck stuff and hoodies. And yeah, I really like it. I think it looks amazing. Then season three was at Madison Square Garden. He did that massive show, which was kind of a first of its kind. Like it was a huge, just kind of exhibition, but everyone went crazy and everyone turned up. Like Jay-Z was there and Jaden Smith and Frank Ocean appeared, which was mad. And so he had this huge show for that. And that was pretty cool. Similar stuff. Like he hasn't changed the clothes lows, just sort of added stuff to the range. And lots of it hasn't even come out yet. I think a lot of season three still hasn't come out, but bits and pieces will over time. Yeah. And then on to this season, season four. So he had the show in New York on Roosevelt Island and I've read some stuff on it and it sounded like not as amazing as last time was most people's review. Basically everyone had to get a bus, a Yeezy bus over to the um, island in New York. Apparently was, there was like no music on the bus. It was really awkward. It was like a weird school trip and everyone kind of then got off in a secret location and then had to wait around for ages, which you can kind of do if you can your West. I get it. That's fair enough. But it was boiling hot and loads of the models were just in like spandex stuff, just standing and waiting. And apparently people were like collapsing and like no one was helping any of the models. So they had to get water from like the crowd and stuff. It sounds really weird, but hey, I wasn't there. I've just read stuff on it. And then yeah, here's some stuff from the show. So they streamed it all live on Tidal. So that's still a thing. I'm not sure, I think so. Not hugely different, but there was more like monochrome stuff. There was some black stuff in there. It was all women's wear that he showcased for this run. There wasn't loads of new stuff. I think that was most people's like criticism was that actually he's not really reinvented it much for season four, but I guess up to him and it's still cool. There was some more like black and white monochrome stuff. Sort of this drop shoulder kind of oversized stuff again, which is still cool, it's still on trend. Um, but you kind of think maybe he's gonna reinvent it at some stage, who knows? And also people were expecting maybe a kids range because he released these, which I thought were wicked. The Yeezy Boost 350s for kids, which is awesome. Like, I mean, if you're actually gonna get that as like a parent, you're gonna have to have some money because kids' feet grow really quickly and they are really expensive. And his whole thing is about trying to make it more affordable, but I don't think he's done that yet. But people were expecting maybe some like kids stuff and it wasn't really any of that. But who knows, maybe it'll come out. And then there's the Yeezy 350 V2s that are gonna come out in September, which was the other kind of big news of the last month with his stuff. But yeah, I thought I'd just go through it. I think it's cool. I, I like his stuff. I think it's well nice. It's not affordable, but it has inspired loads of stuff throughout. That whole style, I think it's good. And I think he's done some cool stuff. So there we go. Just a roundup, really. I hope you enjoyed that. Something a bit different. Um, I hope you liked it anyway. And uh, yeah, new style video every week. You can go and check out one of the couple of weeks ago, the Bieber tour merchandise stuff. I got to go and have a look at that in Urban Outfitters. And that's really nice. So yeah, you can check that out down below and yeah hit subscribe if you haven't already it'd be nice to have you and uh, yeah i'll see you for another video in the week see you later love you bye okay bye, okay, bye, bye.